the sloth, known for its incredibly slow movements, actually has a fascinating origin story that has intrigued researchers, suggesting a significant connection between its ancestors and human life and civilization in prehistoric times. Intriguing, right? Researchers believe that the sloth's ancestor was a prehistoric animal named Megatherium. Unlike the comparatively small sloths of today, Megatherium was a gigantic mammal that stood about 11.5 feet tall. This prehistoric creature also weighed up to 4 tons, approximately 10 times the weight of today's sloths. Like the sloths we know, Megatherium is thought to have been an herbivore, feasting on plants. However, it's not just the size and weight of this gigantic mammal that has captivated scientists and researchers. Some discovered Megatherium fossils show signs of hunting, from stab wounds to cuts on various body parts. Parts. This evidence has led researchers to believe that Megatherium was one of the prehistoric humans' hunted animals, possibly even a primary game. The link between Megatherium and ancient humans is also believed to be a contributing factor to the giant mammal's extinction. There are several different theories among researchers about the cause of Megatherium's extinction, ranging from hunting by humans to climate change at the end of the Ice Age. Known as the giant monster of South America, Megatherium americanum was a mammoth mammal that lived during the Pleistocene epoch in South America. The first fossils of this ancient creature were discovered in 1787 in Argentina by Manuel Torres. That same year, the Megatherium fossils were sent to Spain, where the paleontologist George Cuvier, after studying and comparing its anatomy, identified it as an ancestor ancestor of the sloth. The Megatherium boasts some pretty fascinating physical characteristics. Based on fossils collected over years, this ancient creature is believed to have stood a towering 11.5 feet tall when on its hind legs. Intriguingly, it's thought that Megatherium did indeed stand and walk on two legs, making it one of the largest bipedal animals of all time. But it wasn't just tall and big. The Megatherium weighed in at about 4 tons. Its body was covered in thick fur, and it also had large claws and strong teeth. Despite its formidable claws, Megatherium was confirmed to be a herbivore. Scientists have conducted chemical analyses on Megatherium's teeth that provide a record of the plants it ate during its lifetime. The lifestyle of the Megatherium as a herbivore wasn't much different from today's sloths. However, the size and weight of these two animals are vastly different. The Megatherium was estimated to be about 10 times the size compared to a sloth, which normally stands less than 3.3 feet tall and weighs up to about 11 pounds. Conversely, the size and weight of the Megatherium were almost comparable to elephants, which are currently the heaviest and largest terrestrial mammals. With such an enormous body size, it's hard to imagine where the Megatherium lived. But considering that its fossils were found in South America, it's almost certain that this giant creature once inhabited grasslands and open forests. This habitat suits the Megatherium's herbivorous nature. According to research on the chemical elements in this ancient animal's fossils, during its lifetime, the Megatherium primarily ate plants and fruits. Its towering height of 11.5 feet would have made it easy for the Megatherium to reach fruits high up in trees, while its long claws are believed to have been used to gather various plants from the ground. The habitat and lifestyle of the Megatherium weren't much different from modern-day sloths. As known, sloths also eat fruits and leaves from trees and use their sharp claws to reach various fruits and other plants. 
In contrast, the sloth reaches the plant by hanging from a tree branch. Meanwhile, Megatherium uses its hind legs to stand and reach various plants. Living in the Pleistocene era, the adaptation process of the Megatherium is believed to be quite unique. In terms of physical adaptation, the Megatherium's body was completely covered in thick fur to withstand the cold climate. The physical changes due to the Ice Age climate also manifested in a very large body size. As known, most Ice Age prehistoric animals had large bodies to survive in the extremely cold climate. Moreover, the Megatherium adapted to the Pleistocene era environment by standing on its hind legs. This terrestrial mammal is even believed to have been the largest bipedal creature, meaning an animal that stands and walks on two legs in history. This adaptation allowed the Megatherium to forage in tall trees, consistent with its habitat in open forests. Additionally, the adaptation process involved the Megatherium's ability to climb trees. In the Pleistocene era, tree climbing was crucial for herbivorous animals to survive. At that time, nearly all the trees were large and tall. Another ability of the Megatherium was swimming. This skill was vital as the climate changed. Most of the ice had melted and islands began to form. It's during this period that the Megatherium is speculated to have adapted by developing swimming capabilities. The existence of Megatherium in the Pleistocene era is also believed to coincide with the appearance of the first early humans. Therefore, the Megatherium also began to develop the ability to hide and defend itself. This prehistoric animal started to hide from other predators and humans. The arrival of humans in the Pleistocene era apparently posed the greatest threat to Megatherium. Most researchers believe that hunting by humans was the main cause of the extinction of this giant prehistoric animal. The theory that human activities led to the extinction of the Megatherium isn't solely based on the coincidence of their existence with early humans. Known to roam the Earth during the Middle Pleistocene, about 400,000 years ago, until the Holocene era, around 8,000 years ago, Megatherium shared its time with the first humans who are believed to have set foot on the American continent. Researchers have stumbled upon several sites suspected to be the scenes where early humans slaughtered the Megatherium. Furthermore, some of the Megatherium fossils unearthed bear marks of cuts or stabs. Another theory, equally considered by researchers, points to climate change as a culprit. The extreme climate shifts at the end of the Ice Age rendered Megatherium, along with many other giant prehistoric animals, unable to survive, leading to their extinction. These two theories regarding the Megatherium's extinction are not contradictory. It's possible that natural factors such as climate change and the emergence of diseases led to the demise of these giant mammals. However, human hunting, driven by the consumption of Megatherium meat, could have been another contributing factor. Understanding the existence and causes behind the extinction of the Megatherium is crucial, not just to trace the origins and ancestors of modern-day sloths, but also to deepen our understanding of human evolution. The scars and cuts found on Megatherium fossils illustrate how during the Middle Pleistocene, humans had evolved to live through hunting. It's certain that at that time, humans had developed tools sophisticated enough to kill these giant mammals, standing at about 11.5 feet tall and weighing up to 4 tons. This implies that between 400,000 and 8,000 years ago, human life was already quite advanced. 
By then, humans had crafted tools capable enough for hunting in the forests. Studying the lifestyle of the megatherium also sheds light on climate change, another factor in the extinction of these colossal mammals. The end of the Pleistocene and the onset of the Holocene likely marked the end of the Ice Age, bringing about massive changes in the Earth's structure and climate. Consequently, many prehistoric animals, including the Megatherium, couldn't survive and eventually perished. Research on the Megatherium is far from over. There are still many secrets about these ancient giants waiting to be uncovered. So stay curious, folks.